Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So last night you saw that we went to two auctions and we didn't end up finding anything for one reason or another, but there is another sale very early this morning. So it's about 5.30 a.m. We just woke up and this sale starts at 7.30, but we need to get down there and look at the horses to figure out what horses could be a potential possibility to purchase. Now, not in a negative way, but I am not that hopeful about finding a horse because this is an uncatalogued sale this morning and it's definitely more of you get what you pay for. You don't know what you're getting until you bring it home type situation. Situation. Most of the horses are not ridden through this ring. So, you know, there's all those different variables. I'm absolutely okay walking away, not getting a horse, but we'll just have to see. I also do want a horse. I mean, we don't just come and drive four hours every weekend, bringing the truck and trailer to just not purchase a horse because we don't want to. So this is very real, but again, it's winter. And if I don't find something that I don't feel is a good fit, and I've learned through a lot of experience, how big of a commitment purchasing a horse is, let alone from an auction, the risk is increased. So it has to be a really good situation for me to purchase the horse. There is also another sale at the end of December. So that is like my next hope if for some reason nothing works out today. And then if that doesn't work, there's always gonna be other sales. I'm creating these videos to take you along in my journey at Free Spirit Equestrian and what I do. And I just wanna show you exactly how it is, whether we purchase horses at auctions or we don't. And when I purchased Bell, I went to like, I think it was like three to five auctions in a week. I'm pretty sure it was like five. And on the last sale at the last minute, I found her. So in my opinion, patience and pickiness definitely pays off. Now at this smaller sale we're going to this morning, a lot of the horses are gonna be projects. Some are sort of rescues. Some are just diamonds in the rough. So I would be open to getting one of these horses if the price is low enough, because like I said, you're not gonna see them ridden or anything like that. So the risk is highly increased, but let's go down and see what we end up finding today. So fingers crossed. Okay, so we're walking down to the sale barn right now. Obviously it's dark because it's morning time and it's a little windy out this morning as well. So yeah, I'm very curious what we're gonna find today. So. I just appreciate you horse lovers coming along on this journey. It's always interesting and exciting whether we get a horse or not. Um, it's fun to show you the horses and talk about it. If for some reason we don't end up purchasing, at least we get some kind of education out of it. So yeah, all right, we're almost there. I truly hope that we can find a horse here today at this auction. I really am passionate about my mission, finding horses, working with them for a long period of time, and then eventually finding them a wonderful home. And it would just be so amazing to bring another horse onto the farm. Our search for a horse has officially begun. And it's crazy because I have no idea how long it's going to take to find the right horse. This is a Belgian weanling filly. She's probably around eight months old and oh my goodness, she is so precious, but I cannot, will not, do not need another baby. I literally cannot take that on right now. It would make no sense, but I absolutely adore her. And if I did have the time and space to take on another foal, so to speak, I would have snatched her up, but she's gonna be absolutely gargantuan. I mean, she's already this big at eight months old, so I don't think I need her, but she is so sweet and friendly, and she actually looks really well-built. A lot of people on YouTube will ask, well, why don't you just get that horse if you like them, or why don't you get a horse that, you know, has an issue? And it's because I'm simply not a rescue, and I don't take donations, and that's not my focus. My focus is finding horses that have a lot of potential and don't seem to have major issues, getting them out of a situation or an auction because that's the best way to do that before they do end up in bad auctions or kill pens. It's also very expensive to take on horses that have issues and I only have so many funds and so much time and space. And I don't like passing along horses that I know have problems. So, you know, it just comes down to all the different factors. Here, I really liked this mare. She seems like a crossbred, probably like a quarter horse, maybe a Belgian or some type of draft horse cross. She's not really big, but she's not small either. I really like her. She seems to have a good demeanor. I'm gonna look her over. She didn't seem sore. She doesn't have any obvious injuries, lumps or bumps, and she seems interested in me. Very, very kind. So I'm gonna feel her legs. So far, they feel good. She picked up her foot right away seemed good as far as a visual and physical inspection goes but now i'm going to check her teeth and see what age she is 
So when I looked at her teeth, she seems to be a smooth mouth mare, which means she's older, probably over 20. And since I already have Bagheera and Jiminy that I'm keeping forever, I don't want to take on another senior horse at this point. Hi again. You're just absolutely humongous. You're just huge. This is the huge black horse we saw at the auction last night. Now, none of these horses have numbers on them and they haven't gone through the auction ring. So I actually don't know if they're for sale. <laughs> he likes you. It's a man's horse. All right, nothing yet. I really liked that baby. If I didn't already get Ariel, which I love her to death, but if I was looking for another baby, I would 100% buy that Belgian. Oh my gosh, so precious. But I just can't take that on right now, like no way. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Hi. They are hilarious. This one's cute. Hi. I don't know, it's hard to tell what's for sale today and what's not. Our ponies, hi. Oh, you have a pretty blue eye. <laughs> Very cute. Very cute. Super pretty color. You're very cool. Very pretty. I've seen a lot of comments with people asking, why don't you bring a vet with you? Well, a vet is not going to take their time away from their day and their family to drive hours and go to an auction and go and look at a bunch of horses. There's just no way that that's practical or fair for vets. They already have so much time spent away from families and it's just something that's not practical. So it's not really an option when it comes to auctions. Now, there are some auctions where the horses do come with vetting prior to the sale. Now, I haven't personally been to one of those sales, but the higher, higher end ones will have that. There are definitely different levels when it comes to auctions. But oftentimes at the higher end sales, those horses are gonna go for 20, 30, 40, 50,000, 100,000, a million dollars. All of the sales I've gone to this weekend are decent sales. I would say they're mid-tier ones. So you can get some really nice, decent horses, but it all depends. I mean, like, look at this. This is a huge bull chimatoma. Never seen something like that per se. Kyle, someone wants you to pet him. Team? They are absolutely adorable. <laughs> That's cute. A couple other comments and questions that I've been asked is, would you get a mule? I love mules, they're adorable, but they're just not my thing, so no. And the other question is, why don't I shop private sale? I 100% do. Over half of my horses are private sale horses, and I'm always looking, but I've been looking constantly, and there's nothing that I'm interested in, even in the private sale market. Now, look at all these beauties. This horse kind of reminded me of Gaston, but he has a humpback. He's gorgeous, but definitely something going on with that back, which is unfortunate. The other one, I didn't like the confirmation, had more of a sway. And then the one next to the black one I like with the star was like terrified. So yeah, it's just, it's kind of sad. But again, if you're not being picky, then you're not being serious about trying to buy a horse and taking on that commitment. And that's just how I look at it. But yeah, he is beautiful. Again, reminds me of Black Beauty, which is my absolute favorite movie. And I grew up watching that. Oftentimes people come to auctions and they buy a lot of horses, but they're looking to move those horses on relatively quickly, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm not looking to flip horses. I'm looking to commit to them and work with them for a long period of time. Horse lovers, nothing so far. We're looking, but I don't know. It's just a lot of um, injured horses or straight up rescues for the most part. And like I said, these were all smaller sales, but you just never know what you're going to come across. So, yeah, but sometimes things arrive later. The sale hasn't started yet, so we're just keeping our eye on the loading dock right now. No loading. Yeah. What's happening? 18 bit. Miller Horse is NBA Hardy Rock. 
This is a wheeling Philly. Now, oftentimes people will see the prices in these sale videos and they will go, wow, that is so cheap, like buy that horse. But I want to address that there are a lot of experienced horse people at these sales. And when these horses go cheap, there is a reason that no one else is bidding on the horse, okay? I hope that makes sense. Now, there are times where you can get lucky where there's just not quite the right crowd or it's the time of day or whatever the case may be and you can get a dang good horse for cheap. Like, I bet that smooth mouth bay mare is absolutely fantastic and worth way more than what she went for. I just personally don't want an older horse due to my other horses that I have a commitment to. But yeah, when a horse goes cheap, there's usually a reason, so you really need to take that into consideration. Well, horse lovers, I'm really bummed that we didn't come across any horses this weekend, but we'll just have to be patient. All right, horse lovers. Well, we tried, but... We didn't find anything at the sales. It just happens that way sometimes. But like I said, there's always gonna be another one. And also I do look private sale too. It's not just auctions. Every horse I liked was either too old or too lame or something along those lines. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, nothing that I love. Again. I don't think Goliath was gonna go through, so <laughs> you have a number on him. That horse was absolutely ginormous. Like that's the biggest horse I've ever seen. But it's easy for people to sit back and go, oh, that horse went cheap. You should have bought that horse, blah, blah, blah. What do you think about that, Kyle? <laughs> yeah. A $500 horse has a $5,000 vet bill. And like I said, I mean, you can definitely find good horses at like this type of sale this morning. But there's usually a reason why they're here and they're going cheap. You know, you get what you pay for. Once in a while, you can get something for a reasonable price. And it turns out to be a gem. But that usually comes with time, training, work, or rehab, or something along those lines. So yeah, Kyle and I, we're not flippers. We're picky and- And it sucks driving home with an empty trailer because it bounces on the road. <laughs> and like I said, we're, okay. we're driving hours and hours. So we're not messing around. We're serious um, cash in hand buyers, but we're not looking to flip. We're looking to bring one into our family and yeah. for me to work with and, you know, expose and do all the things. All right, horse lovers, we are about to head back to Michigan. I hope you enjoyed coming to the auctions with us. If you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order something off the Spirited Horse Boutique. Right now, I'm wearing our very neutral Mustang Mob. I love this one. It's just a really nice neutral color for everyday wear. So horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian, any upcoming auctions, any training sessions, or any updates with the foals, and I'll see you next time.